This building alone is unbelievably beautiful, not even including the museum. It's kind of an unbelievable museum considering the fact that we didn't have no idea or anything about it. And the entrance fee is literally about five cents. The fact that they can charge such an extremely minimal entrance fee and still keep a place up this nice is incredible. It's beautiful. So we're back in the old town of uh, Geisentep and heading to lunch here. I'm gonna give you a little glimpse of the uh, fortress up on the hill. We won't be heading up into there since we are leaving Geisentep after, uh, after lunch. But it's a cool looking fort up there. I love all the little caves that are around the outside. I uh, missed this when we were in the museum, but apparently uh, a lot of the Neolithic stuff at the start of that museum were uh, actually uncovered underneath where this fortress is now, including that uh, grave, which I'm sure we'll make it into the video since there was the whole skeleton along with its belongings and stuff. But now we really are going to eat. My stomach has been grumbling for a good hour now. Şöyle, e, so this is fat or butter actually. They say butter. Mm -hmm. Pure butter. It's unbelievable. I mean Will you, you can, on there too. You can use your spoon and you can use it Thank like you. a you know, soup, you know? Drink the it's good dip. So good. If you want to go to eat here, you got to push that button. Well, we finished up our pretty darn good lunch. It was legitimately uh, $25 for all that food you saw on our table. And uh, it was more than enough for all of us. But we also don't eat a whole lot. So, pretty reasonably priced. I mean, that was like gourmet cuisine that back home would have been $50 per person so if you want to try some good gourmet food for a reasonable price I would say check out that place and we're about to have some uh, fresh like fruit juice I'm not sure exactly what it is but we'll see just have a uh, basil you know, fruit thing sure. so we'll but see how I like it oh I'm not a huge fan I don't give that to my sister it's good it's delicious it, they like it, I don't like it. This is right down the street, like literally right down the street from that place we got lunch. If you're interested in getting one of those basil drinks that they love, or this uh, fruit one that I'm grabbing. I didn't realize they also had this uh, nut mixture that they have over here in these jars that they call uh, Turkish Viagra. So uh, we'll see uh, how that does. There's so much, there's so much stuff in it. Really? Thank you. Thank you. Look at that up there, see? It's pretty good. The nuts are pretty strong in it, but it's pretty good. I'm, I'm a fan. They're pretty good. I'd say it's definitely more for people with a, who really like nuts, because the nut is pretty strong in it. But it's, it's a, I can do it. I'm not sure where we're going right now. My sister saw a museum and she wanted to go with it. So we're going in it. It's this one. So this is a uh, Turkish bath museum.
belly stone, our belly platform, the central part, is heated underneath. It's always warm, so we are lying, oil, so I, and I are using a small pouring hot water over you, you know, this is the caldarium part. And now the lime water someone comes and starts peeling your skin with a special glow. You get rid of your old skin. So try that and then see your skin at the end. The piles of is dirt, it dead skin comes out. And then they uh, make a massage with a soap. This building alone is unbelievably beautiful, not even including the museum. It's kind of an unbelievable museum considering the fact that we didn't have no idea or anything about it. And the entrance fee is literally about five cents. The fact that they can charge such an extremely minimal entrance fee and still keep a place up this nice is incredible. It's beautiful. over it but maybe I'll just let you guys pause. It was a nice little museum. Our uh, guide was saying that because uh, I was commenting on how impressively well kept it was especially considering the five cent entry fee and he said that uh, it's actually free if you're even if you're like older and uh, basically these are government done uh, museums and uh, kept well and there are numerous museums around for different themes like they have kitchen museum and different things like that so I mean we don't really have time to go to extra things because we really really packed our itinerary in so I think this is probably it for us and guys in Pep. We have arrived at our next hotel. I'm kind of an idiot and I had our tour out of order in my head and I kept saying that we have been going to Sini Lurfa. We are actually in Adiyaman and this is our hotel. I think we're only here for one night and we're going to Mount Nemrut tomorrow and uh, we will be in Sandy Lurfa the next two nights after that. So, I'll uh, show you the room here in a bit. Pretty nice hotel room. Beds feel super soft and fluffy. Let's check out out here. Well, this is definitely the most uh, like Western-like room we've had yet on this trip. We are only here one night, which I'm kind of happy about because the location of it kind of seems like it's not in like the greatest walking around area like we had in uh, Geisentep. But uh, it's still pretty, pretty nice. But yeah, it's kind of right off the main road, like you can see there. And there's just no shops, no nothing. So, probably be staying in the hotel. Maybe get some editing done or something. I'm gonna turn the lights on so you guys can see my beautiful face. No, I'm not. I lied. Why am I not getting the lights? There we go. But yeah, we're going to Mountain Emerald uh, tomorrow. Don't know exactly what time, but uh, I talked about that briefly when we were in uh, the museum. It is... Uh, one of the highest peaks in the area, and it is uh, where a megalom megalomaniac king uh, built his statues up on the top of the hill, and he is, uh, he is buried under the mound there, but the excavations are still extremely early in their progress, uh, so as far as I know, they haven't actually found him, but due to the LIDAR scans they've done of the area, they do know he's there. Um, so yeah, looking forward to hiking up there tomorrow. I don't know how hard the hike is. Uh, my guess is it's probably something similar to what, uh, the hike up Mount Vesuvius is to anybody who has done that, which I just did earlier this year. 
You can check that out in the video up here. I don't really foresee any reason that I'll be pulling the camera out again tonight. And I guess I'll just leave you here. So if you made it this far and you haven't already, please hit the like button down below, subscribe. And uh, I got another, a little over two weeks of turkey coming up. So stay tuned for that and uh, see you guys in the next video. Ha, 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 ha.